Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney in San Jose reporting for BTV and NBC Bay Area. I'm at Cisco's headquarters and we've got some updates on what's going on with the company's video teleconferencing strategy across all of its business sectors. Let's shift gears and talk about video conferencing a bit. Now, this is an area of video conferencing that Cisco has been known for. You've done a lot, sort of industrial strength. Give us the quick lay of the land in terms of where you, where you have been, and then I want to talk about home video conferencing after that. So first, sure. where are you? So, uh, Cisco introduced uh, a little over three years ago uh, telepresence for businesses, and telepresence is very high definition, uh, re video conferencing, big picture, big screen. We sell complete rooms that have three 65-inch plasma screens and half the conference table. So when you're sitting there, it looks like you're talking to people on the other side of the table. And they appear life-size because the screen's big and it's very high resolution. So, I mean, they, you can see, like, their eyes. You can make eye contact with them. And it's... Uh, it's so good, you know, for the first 10 minutes or so, you're kind of amazed by the technology, and then after that, the technology kind of disappears, and you can just focus on the communication you're trying to have in the meeting with other people. And it can be, you know, people in one room talking to people in another room anywhere else in the world, or it could be people in three or four, 10 or 20 rooms talking to each other, and it automatically switches between who's ever talking shows up on the screen. So you kind of lose track even when there's a lot of room you know, where are the people, it doesn't matter to you which city they're in, you're all in the same meeting together. Now, what type of businesses are using that besides Alec Baldwin on 30 Rock? <laughs> that was a great example of uh, uh, using telepresence to avoid getting bed bugs. But um, uh, lots of big companies are using it. If you just think back to, you know, what we've gone through in the economy recently and the big mergers between financial institutions, you know, if you're a big financial institution in New York and you bought a big financial institution on the West Coast and you're trying to bring those companies together, you can't have people, well, you can, but it's very expensive, but people flying back and forth, you know, every week. If you could have meetings where you talked and worked with each other every single day and you had the kind of face-to-face -face experience, you know, it's much easier to bring those cultures together. There's more than 350 big corporations that have adopted uh, telepresence, but it includes includes companies like GE and Procter and & Gamble and you know, big companies that have a lot of offices. And as we introduced that, we've made less expensive models available so you don't have to have a dedicated room. You can have one in a conference room or even you can have one in an office, just in your office so you can do the kind of telepresence. And of course we've uh, acquired, it hasn't quite closed yet, but we've acquired Tanberg, which was the number one company in terms of making uh, video conferencing systems. Theirs were typically less expensive, so they had the number one market share in terms of units because they were less expensive. And when you put that together with Cisco, who had the, the lead in terms of the big high resolution video conferencing systems, uh, we, we think it's going to be a formidable combination and a great product line that goes all the way from the low end to the high end yep. once that deal closes. What does that acquisition do for you? Does it just give you the dominant spot in video conferencing? Well, it gives us uh, a big installed base. So there's all the people that had Tanberg that now they understand and bought into the benefits of uh, video conferencing and high resolution video conferencing and now we add a, our product line fits at the top end of what Tanberg was doing so it's a much bigger product line that we can sell that whole product line into and conversely we can take our customer base which is really big on the networking side and as I mentioned video is a big part of, of what Cisco sees as the future because of its uh, role in communications and uh, whether it's digital signage or video conferencing or uh, physical security, those are all different manifestations of video. You know, this will add to our portfolio of video products, so we'll have a really a great portfolio going forward. And where do you go next with it? Schools, education, does it have that type of play? Well, you know, we think it's going to be everywhere, basically, but there's lots of examples. A good one that uh, I can talk about is health presence. So uh, healthcare, especially just given what's been going on in our country with the uh, uh, Reform Act that just passed Congress the other day, uh, you know, there's a big incentive to deliver health care more efficiently and more effectively. And we demonstrated the use of home telepresence to deliver what we call health presence. 
uh, at CES. And an example would be there's more than 30% of the U.S. population has some kind of chronic disease, whether it's high blood pressure or high cholesterol or diabetes or uh, other things like that. And finally, what are you doing with home video conferencing? So at the Consumer Electronics Show, we introduced a new category of products that we think is going to be big for consumers called home telepresence. And it's taking this concept of the high definition, low latency, kind of the next best thing, the being there that we've introduced for business where the, you know, the products are expensive and making a, a home version of that. And this would be something where it would work with your existing TV set and your existing broadband service, you could buy broad, you don't need a special, you know, switch installed or line installed. You could get it with your existing broadband service provider.